My friends, welcome. This is the final episode, episode number five of 50 Fun Facts About Ninjago. You know, we've had four previous episodes where we've asked you 40 questions about Ninjago. Hopefully you got all 40 right, but if not, hopefully you enjoyed yourself. So we're on the last episode now. The final 10 questions about Ninjago in our 50 Fun Facts. If you're big fans of Ninjago like Jax and I are, we hope you've enjoyed this series. If we didn't get to a question and you have one, please add it in the comments section and let's, let's play together, all right? But this is the final episode, so let's get started with the last 10 questions. All right, the first question is, how was Ninjago created? And don't say by Lego. <laughs> how was the world of Ninjago created? What does the legend say? Well, if you recall... Remember, Lord Garmadon and Sensei Wu are brothers, and their father was the first master of spinjitsu. And supposedly, according to legend, he used the four elements of power and the spinjitsu to create the world of Ninjago. Pretty cool, huh? Excellent. Okay, question. I'm sure there's, there's more to the story, but for the purposes of our discussion, we're going to leave it for that. Uh, and if you watch the TV show, you'll learn the rest of it. All right, question number two. Who ends up being the golden ninja? Do you know? Now we see Zane is the white ninja, Cole is the black ninja, Jay is the blue, and Kai is the red, and Lloyd is the green. But who's the gold ninja? Actually, that's going to be Lloyd too. He becomes the gold ninja in season number three. Okay, here's another question for you. What is spinjitsu? How is it different than, say, Taekwondo or Karate? Do you know? Well, in Spin Jitsu, a Spin Jitsu master will spin so fast that he will create a tornado of energy and be able to control one of the elements of power. Cool. Okay, now if you remember from the first uh, season, there was a character called Samukai, and he was the leader of the Skullkins. He actually was the leader of the underworld before Lord Garmadon kind of took over down there. But Samukai actually disappeared. Do you know how he disappeared into a vortex of energy? What happened to him? Well, if you'll notice, he's got four arms. And he actually was the one was when um they were Lord Garmadon and the Skullkins were battling against the ninjas. They ended up getting all four of their golden weapons. And Lord Garmadon commanded Samukai to bring him the four weapons. But Samukai picked them up and wanted to betray Lord Garmadon and rule the world himself. What Samukai didn't realize was he wasn't strong enough to hold all four of the weapons. And when he picked them up, they destroyed him. He turned into a vortex of energy. Too bad, Samukai. That's how he disappeared. Question number five. Let's talk about the dragons. Now, you know, each of the little ninjas has a dragon, and each dragon is associated with a certain element. My question for you is, which dragon actually has small, tiny wings? If you look up in the picture here, you can see this dragon has pretty big wings. But there's one dragon with small wings. Whose dragon is that? It's actually Cole's. Cole's dragon is a small dragon. I mean, it's not a small dragon. He has small wings. So, check it out when you get a chance and you'll see. Okay, speaking of dragons, which ninja's dragon shoots ice out of his mouth and not fire like normal dragons? Do you know? That's a pretty easy one. If you know anything, you know that Zane has the Shiru Khans of ice, and he's associated with the element of water and ice. So his dragon shoots ice, not fire. Okay, question number seven. Initially, the ninjas stay with Sensei Wu in his dojo, in his home, but that gets destroyed. Where do they go to next? It's a flying ship, you're right, but what's the name of the flying ship? Do you know? It's called Destiny's Bounty. Hmm, if you got that one, I'm impressed. All right, question number eight. We're almost done. Now, you know, Nia is actually a samurai. But the question for you is, what is the samurai mech? Do you know what that is? Samurai mech? 
It's the gigantic samurai robot costume, um, android costume thing that N Nia is able to go inside and control, and she becomes like this super tall samurai. So that's the samurai mech. All right, we have two questions left. Okay, now you know the serpentine. They're some of the villains in the show, right? There's four different serpentine tribes. Can you name the four tribes? This is actually a trick question, so if you get it right, I'm going to be impressed. Go ahead. Okay, the four tribes are the Hypnobari, who are kind of like cobras, the Fangpire, one bite from a Fangpire can turn a person into a snake, the Venomari, they spit their venom at you, and if so, if you, if you get it like Kai did, you'll hallucinate and see gingerbread men and little gnomes. The constricti, these are like boa constrictors that try to crush you. So those are the four tribes. What's that? You're right, there's actually five. Good job, my friend. There's five serpentine tribes. If you recall, Pythor, he is from the Anacondri tribe. And they're so big that they can swallow a person whole. But he's the last of that tribe, so there won't be any more. So are there four? Are there five? I'll give you credit either way. All right, my friends, it's the last question in our show. All of the 50 fun facts come down to this. This is a question that's so hard, I'm not even sure I have it right. So if I'm wrong, if we're wrong, please correct us and let us know what you think. Controversial question, though. In all of the series... Can you name all of the people, all of the characters, who were able to handle all four weapons at one time? Do you know? Can you name the people? Do, 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 Okay, my friends, here we go. I'm sure you know, well, it's not Spitta, obviously that Lloyd, the green ninja, a.k.a. the gold ninja, his destiny was to handle all four. So I'm sure you got that right. And I would imagine that you probably knew Lord Garmadon handled all four, because if you watch the show, you know he defeats the Great Devourer with all four weapons. And you probably know your history, so I'm imagining you remember, and we even asked it in this episode, that the father of Sensei Wu and Lord Garmadon use the four elemental weapons to create Ninjago. So that's number three. And you probably know from watching this episode that Samukai, even though he didn't do it safely, he did pick up all four weapons. So he had them as well, too. So by my count, that's four people so far, right? Four characters. We know that none of the ninjas did because they know they're not strong enough to handle all four at once. But I'm wondering, did you answer Sensei Wu? Because we know Sensei Wu hid all four of the weapons throughout Ninjago to hide them and keep them safe. But I don't believe he handled all four at once. First of all, he doesn't have four arms, so how could he do it, right? But I don't believe he handled them at once, so I'm thinking only four people handled them. Lloyd, Lord Garmadon, Samukai, and the father of Lloyd Gar Lord Garmadon and Sensei Wu. I believe that's only four. I don't think Sensei Wu handled them at once. What do you think? Is there someone that we're missing? Let us know. We say four. What do you say? All right, my friends. Well, that's going to be the end of our series of five shows called 50 Fun Facts About Ninjago. Did you enjoy this series? We hope so. Uh, and if you have uh, you know, other facts that we didn't get to, please put them down for us. We'll like to answer them as well, too. Until next time, Ninjago!